Yet in the wrong hands, it has the potential to destroy an entire civilization. Now, we've all seen power at its greatest, but we've also all seen it at its worst. In George Orwell's fictional novel, 1984, power is a frequently discussed topic that dictates all of the moves that are made by the government. Today, I'm going to read to you, all of you guys an excerpt from 1984 that deals with this idea <coughs> of power. Now, I will tell you the answer to my question. It is this. The party seeks power entirely for its own sake. We are not interested in the good of others. We are interested solely in power, not wealth, or luxury, or long life, or happiness. Only power, pure power. What pure power means, you will understand presently. We are different from all the other oligarchs of the past, in that we know what we are doing. All the others, even those who resembled ourselves, were cowards and hypocrites. The German Nazis and the Russian communists came very close to us in their methods, but they never had the courage to recognize their own motives. They pretended, perhaps even believed, that they had seized power unwillingly, unwillingly and for a limit, limited time, and that just around the corner, they lay a paradise where human beings would be free and equal. We are not like that. We know that no one ever seizes power with the intention of relinquishing it. Power is not a means, it is an end. One does not establish a dictatorship to safeguard a revolution. One makes the revolution in order to establish a dictatorship. The object of persecution is persecution. The object of torture is torture. The object of power is power. Now, do you begin to understand me? Winston was struck, as he had been struck before, by the tiredness of O'Brien's face. It was strong and fleshy and brutal. It was full of intelligence and a sort of controlled passion before which he felt himself helpless. But it was tired. There were pouches under the eyes. The skin sagged from the cheekbones. O'Brien leaned over him, deliberately bringing the worn face nearer. You are thinking, he said, that my face is old and tired. You are thinking that I talk of power, yet I am not even able to prevent the decay of my own body. Can you not understand, Winston? that the individual is only a cell. The weariness of the cell is the vigor of the organism. Do you die when you cut your fingernails?